The Killing of a Sacred Deer is directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, the man who brought us the lobster, and it stars Colin Farrell, Nicole Kidman, Rafi Cassidy, Barry Keoghan, and Sonny Siljic, and it looks at the life of a very accomplished surgeon. He has the perfect life, the perfect wife, and two perfectly healthy and happy children. And he has this weird mentor menti relationship with this young boy who is the son of a former patient of his. And once this young boy's true intentions towards the surgeon and his actions turn sinister, the surgeon sees his life start to unravel and fall apart, forcing him to commit an unthinkable act. This film is brought to us by a very quirky director and he has a very quirky take on the subject matter. This is a psychological horror movie with sprinkles of dark comedy and it's based on a very classic Greek play in which we see King Agamemnon making a deal with the gods and also being forced to make a sacrifice. The play is actually referenced in the film and I'm not going to say anything else about the play for the sake of spoilers. But this film reminded me of Mother in a lot of ways. It's not as good, it doesn't have nearly as much to say about its subject matter, but it depicts the core of its story in a metaphorical sense. The metaphor is there, but it doesn't pack as big of a punch as Mother. And I'm not here to compare movies, it's not because of Mother that this movie is bad or good. I'm just trying to make myself clear in terms of what this film is trying to accomplish. This film is gorgeously shot and directed. The cinematography in here is absolutely jaw-dropping and the way Lanthimos captures these shots are absolutely mesmerizing. The way he dolly storts or away from characters as the action in the film takes place is very unique. It's not a simple dolly shot in which you have a medium shot on a character and the camera is moving with them. Sometimes the camera is moving way faster than the characters are, either towards them or away from them. And it makes you immerse into this world and this story and it creates for very unique tension and atmosphere. This film doesn't stop moving. The frame doesn't stop moving. It's always on constant movement, making you feel like you are there next to these characters, making you feel like you are living this story with them. And the tension keeps rising and rising and rising from scene to scene. Colin Farrell and Nicole Kidman are excellent, both individually and together. Colin Farrell, it's not the first time he has has worked with Lanthimos, he worked with him on The Lobster, but here he plays this very intense surgeon that finds himself in this crossroads in his life where he doesn't know what to do. And being a man of science, he has always found answers in his life. And the way you find out stuff about his backstory or any other character's backstory in this film is done very interestingly so. Because although the characters do have dialogue that provides you with information, it's up to you to figure out that information and put the two Lego pieces, let's say, that are provided to you together into one place. Characters in this film do a lot of actions that you will not understand at first and it will require a lot of thinking. And that's this whole movie in general. It requires a lot of thinking. I've been thinking about this film ever since I got out of it and I like movies that make me think that way. Barry Keoghan is an absolute standout in this film. I still remember watching this kid in Dunkirk and him being the most endearing character in the film and me crying because this character dies. Spoilers for Dunkirk. In this film he is absolutely terrifying. You don't know what this kid wants, what he's going to do. He's completely unpredictable. And the way the movie chooses to depict him and his words and his actions, how he speaks to other characters and how he moves around other characters, the stuff he does with Colin Farrell's daughter just makes you so uneasy because again you don't know what this kid is going to do or say before he does or says anything that really packs a punch into the film. I cannot say however that I love the film because the film fails at packing an emotional punch. I didn't feel invested in the characters themselves unfortunately as much as I wanted to. I like the performances, they are excellent and I wouldn't be surprised or shocked 
or against it if all these actors were nominated for the Oscars. I wouldn't be surprised or shocked or against it if Lanthimos was nominated for directing or if the cinematography was nominated. But as far as characters in the narrative, I didn't feel an emotional connection whatsoever. And I was very much against some of the characters' actions and words in this film. Also, it feels like Lanthimos breaks his own set of rules because taking this Greek tragedy and putting a metaphorical twist on it, the movie doesn't make sense on some fronts and there are parts of dialogue that could have used a little more work. I will tell you that you should see The Killing of a Sacred Deer. It's absolutely a must for fans of film and for fans of taking a narrative and putting their own unique twist on it. It's certainly a very unique film and it's very unique to this director. There are fabulous performances, a remarkable sense of direction and cinematography. There is very interesting stuff in this film. There is tension, there is atmosphere, all important elements of a horror movie. So I will say that The Killing of a Sacred Deer is a martini. It's a good time. Anytime. What did you think of The Killing of a Sacred Deer, my beautiful geekies? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Do you like this or The Lobster more? Let me know in the comments below. And once more, thank you for watching. This is my last review from London. This year, at least, I'm still watching Wonder, but I will give you my review for when I go back home. And so we'll be on our usual set. I can't wait to see you there. And so until then, you stay beautiful, you stay geeky, and if you haven't done so yet, you click the subscribe button, you click the bell, and we can be geeky. United!